Alright, so I'm going to do some mechanical removal of some of the quartz that has little fractures in it and I think they'll come off fairly easy without um, damaging any of the gold. And let's see what happens. And some of these pieces I'll wind up keeping them because they'll have little pieces of gold in them still so they'll make small little specimens. But that came off just nicely and there's a little bit of gold on that right in through here. So that'll be a good little piece. And there's quite a bit of pyrite underneath. That's not as loose as I thought it would be through there. This is some fairly solid quartz. see that there's pretty much nothing in that that looks like gold but it's not it's just some dark spots on the rock mm -hmm. so I'm going to lighten this piece up quite a bit by taking off any of the barren areas probably won't you know I'm not gonna film the whole thing the video would take forever because it's gonna take quite a few hours of selectively chipping away and then acid treatment and but that's just an idea of, you know, part of the process. A little bit of pyrite there, no gold on that piece. I will keep all the pieces just in case, and I will crush and smelt them. see that there's a lot of pyrite down in here, the Arsino pyrite, so I'll wind up attacking that with um, some peroxide again or acid. Alright, well, most of this is pretty solid, so I might wind up loosening some of it up with acid first before I go at it much further. I don't want to break any of this nice structure in here. The gold sitting on the surface is a little bit fragile, so. Next step, I think we'll do some hydrofluoric acid all up through this area here. But what I need to do before I do that is completely cover this thing in wax to protect the areas that I don't want to get eaten by the acid so I will wax it up and then I'll show a video of what it looks like waxed up. <laughs> 